Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode. This is Zen. Today, we're going to talk about QNT, Quant, the great connector. We're going to talk about some news from yesterday about cross-border payments and, and uh, distributed ledger tokens like XRP and XOM. And we're going to talk about just what's going on in the world real quick, okay? So this is going to be a quick update. But yeah, we have to talk about QNT. You guys know we've been talking about QNT for a very long time now, and it's exploding. It's the number one performing crypto on coin market cap in the last seven days. It's shot up all the way to $170 according to Coinbase's charts. And uh, this is just the beginning. Now, if you guys seen my speech in Sedona, I did a talk in Sedona for uh, Jace's Family of Light conference. There was about 100 people there and we talked about transitioning to the new quantum financial system. So I talked about two cryptocurrencies at this speech, uh, XRP and QNT, because I spoke about how they're relative to us and our consciousness. But anyway, so the reason why I brought up QNT is because I wanted to show people how a lot of these top level, whatever you want to call them, elites, they hide things in plain sight. And only people with eyes that could see can identify these clues and then take action on these clues to create profit, to create benefits, right? So um, right after the Phoenix Suns lost, if you guys noticed, three days after the Phoenix Suns lost, the opening ceremonies for the Olympics began. That's when we got announced this logo. Keep in mind, I did not make this. Uh, I found this decode online, I believe on Twitter. Three days after the Phoenix Suns lost, uh, the Olympic ceremony begin, which is the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. I find that odd. Why wouldn't they just name it 2021? Anyways, um, they're using the QNT logo. I've been talking about this for days now. I never made a YouTube video on it yet. And since this logo has been announced, it's been on a rampage it's been on a bull rampage it went from about like 70 it went from about like 60 dollars to 170 dollars and it's the exact same logo and what does the olympics symbolize connecting the entire world connecting all the athletics under one roof under one athletic playing field what does QNT symbolize? QNT symbolizes connecting all the world's distributed ledgers in an easy to use interoperable platform where all these distributed ledgers can connect and talk with each other. It's the over ledger. Perfect metaphor, perfect symbolism for the Olympics because they both do the same thing. This is not a coincidence. Learn to see their clues and you could benefit because you damn right that I, when I seen this, when I seen this um, logo, when the Olympics posted it, I bought more QNT. Promise you I did. <laughs> and when I posted this originally in the telegram, people were like, Zen, you're reaching. This is a reach. You're going too far down the deep end. The next day it goes up. It's been going up ever since. So Sometimes these crazy decodes are better than chart analysis, in my opinion. Okay, so um, BIS unveils blueprint for instant cross-border payment system. Bank of International Settlements has released the blueprint of its instant cross-border payment solution, dubbed Nexus. The BIS Innovation Hub says the Nexus solution will connect with instant payment systems, IPS across nations, offer users super fast cross-border payments. Okay, I'm sure you guys have already seen the news about the on-demand liquidity in Japan, right? So we've seen XRP jump up to 17% after on-demand liquidity was announced in Japan. Tokyo, where the Olympics were happening. It all begins here. So it jumps up 17%. QNT jumps up to $170. Why is this 17 number so freaking significant? Why is it popping up everywhere we look when it comes to this stuff? Okay, so going back to this, 
now BIS is unveiling their blueprint. And what they mention is the BIS launching cross-border payment system, the pro proliferation of distributed ledger technology is fast revolutionize, uh, revolutionizing the world of payments with good number of blockchain projects, inc including Stellar XLM. They won't name XRP, but they call it Ripple and Ripple, creating innovative cross-border payment solutions that even digital traditional banks find very useful. So they just named two different distributed ledgers. Both these distributed ledgers need to talk with each other, which means they need QNT. So QNT is skyrocketing right now as we see these distributed ledgers like XLM and, and XRP blueprints are being released, on-demand liquidity is being released in Japan. My opinion, we're very close. QNT to me is a signal. QNT is located in London and uh, we know it begins in London if we follow the Riddlers. James Wallace, the vice president, this was just posted a few minutes ago of Central Bank's engagement shares how CBDC can enable the next wave of financial inclusion and innovation and official policy and beyond. The next wave, the next wave of innovation you know anything about waves, you can't stop a wave from happening. The wave's gonna happen. We can't stop this innovation. Nothing can stop what's coming. The, the wave is already being turned into a tsunami. What are you gonna do to stop it? You can't. <laughs> so um, yeah, here's some other news. So Olympics began July 23rd and August 8th conveniently lining perfectly up with Bretton Woods, which would be ending on Friday the 13th. So Bretton Woods, the realignment, um, some of the most powerful. So in 1944, the world's most powerful nations gathered at a secret conference in New Hampshire to rebuild the global monetary system. Today, that system no longer, it, no longer working. Most of the same will tell the original conference, Brent Woods, the realignment will gather the world's premier economicists and investors to ask, what is the future of money? So this is going to be August 11th, three days after the Olympics, August 11th, 8, 11, 13, 1, 1, 3. That's a big, significant number. So this is happening. We know in 2012 in London, the ending closing ceremony was a phoenix flying out of a thing that looks like a giant germ. So that was uh, the closing of the 2012 London Olympics. These are just crazy decodes, but I mean, this QNT one is pretty big, but uh, let's go back to the BIS information. So BIS Innovation Hub, the Bank of France and Swiss National Bank today announced that together with private sector led by Accenture, if you know who Accenture is, type in their website you'll see Ripple and XRP all over that shit. They'll conduct an experiment using with CBDC for cross-border settlement. The private sector includes credit R3, R3, 6. If you haven't seen this YouTube video, um, XRP and XCC taking over the world via R3. Highly recommend it. And last but not least, let's end with some Mr. Pool. Mr. Pool posted yesterday I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks like a hammer dropping. And the way I decoded this was it looks like um, settlements incoming. It looked like these posts right here. So this is the Zen Lounge Telegram. If you want these type of decodes, join the Telegram, the links in, in below. So Mr. Poole posted a, a video. It's kind of hard to put out here. Look it up on Twitter, but it's all this stuff, the hammer dropping. In my opinion, the hammer drop means um, settlement for XRP is coming. And wouldn't it make sense that a settlement is coming when all these blueprints are coming out? Like they can't really play the, 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 the show isn't gonna work anymore. This make believe pretend show with the SEC isn't gonna work when Japan's unleashing on-demand liquidity, BIS is unleashing blueprints with it. They can't keep this Truman show going anymore. Eventually they have to drop the hammer on the settlement and what I've been telling people is 
this could happen mid-August, September. Let's say it happens in September, the day that we'll never forget and that we'll always remember. You know, they always tell us never forget 9-11, tell us to always remember that day. But what I'm telling you guys is we're going to need a new national holiday of positivity, something that we'll always remember, something that we'll never forget. The day when we check our phones, when, when all this stuff that we're researching right now finally goes live and all these banks around the world are using, all these banks around the world are using XRP and we wake up and we check our, we check our account. You remember when you were a kid and you were typing in like a, a math problem on a calculator that was too big for the math problem to solve and it was like, the calculator would have an error screen. That's what it's gonna be like for some of you guys with massive XRP bags. Literally, we're gonna wake up one day when all this stuff is, the flip has been switched. And there's gonna be so many zeros on your freaking screen. It's gonna be like, it's literally gonna be like, uh, the screen won't even be able to compute how many zeros are on your freaking phone. So that's a, that's a day that we're always going to remember. We'll never be able to forget that day. It's going to be a new national holiday when, when XRP goes to the sun. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And I, and I think it's really close looking at all this. And the funny thing is, there is a Mr. Pool post that talks about going up and never stopping. Because it seems like once all this stuff goes live, it's going to just keep going up. The price is going to keep going up. And it's never going to stop unless they do something like come up with a stable value for it, which I doubt. But yeah, guys, uh, um, these are just some of the updates. If you're part of the Telegram, we had a push-up contest. We, we announced the winners yesterday. We had a bunch of cool winners. Uh, we sent five people, a thousand XDC. So that was fun. And one last news. As all this news I'm break, breaking down for you, as the Bretton Woods, Olympic symbology, um, as people are unleashing their blueprints, as Japan's opening up their, their uh, on-demand liquidity, German law that could potentially see 415 billion flowing into cryptocurrency becomes effective next Monday. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to put these pieces together, guys. I know you're smart enough to figure out what's coming. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you guys is prepare mentally for that day when you check your phone, that day you're always going to remember that new national holiday for you. Be ready for it and have a plan. And uh, it's coming because... It's, in it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Look at all this news coming out. And most people are fast asleep in their hypnosis state. The news anchor anchored their suggestion. They told everybody, Delta variant. Delta was their hypnotic command from the master hyp uh, hypnotist. And they literally wave their wand and say, Delta. If you know what Delta means, Delta means sleep. It's a brainwave. They're commanding the sleeping sheep. I'm trained in hypnosis. You can see my certifications. They're commanding the sleeping sheep to go to sleep when they say Delta. So they're asleep. They can't figure out, they can't put all this together. They're focused on that narrative while this whole other great awakening golden age becoming the new 1% narrative is over here. So make sure that you stay focused, stay on the right timeline and uh, it's coming really soon guys. So I'm planning my vacation now. It's uh, that's how much, that's how bullish I am. I already know it's happening. It's inevitable, but this was just a quick update. I'm so hyped. I'm so excited that I had to do this video. I wasn't planning on it, but Let's get it, guys. Uh, see you guys next video. I'm going to be in Malibu this weekend. I'm going to film some content uh, out there. So some new videos will be coming for you guys. And uh, I'll see you guys in the Telegram. Peace.